Hello and welcome back to Creative Peg Keeping. In today's video, I am going to take you on a magical journey into the secret life of my shrimp. Now from far away, these guys are already pretty interesting on their own, but when you take a closer look, that's when things start to become magical and you start to realize how interesting these little critters are. These little shrimp are called Neocaridina, and they are actually freshwater shrimp that originate from Taiwan. I'm fairly new to shrimp keeping, but I'm going to try my best to point out some really cool behaviors that we caught on camera. And we're going to learn a little bit about shrimp along the way, starting with where is their mouth? Well, it turns out that it's actually kind of next to their feet and it's vertical shaped and it's not where I thought it would be at all. I always kind of imagined that their mouth would be at the front of their little face, but turns out I was completely wrong. Another interesting thing is that female shrimp will hold eggs and they will fan them. So you can kind of see the female doing that right here and she's actually scratching her back. They have a lot of different appendages. I just Googled it and it turns out they have a lot more legs than I thought they did. I mean, it really looks like they have a lot of legs. They have those little scratchy legs that are used for walking. You just saw her scratch her back and now she's cleaning those little appendages that are waving the eggs. Well, those are apparently her swimming legs. So in the back are swimming legs, she has walking legs. And then she also has little claws, little grabby, grabby, grabby claws that are her her eating um, kind of legs. I just so, so much legs. They're so interesting. If I confused you, well, here's a diagram that I hope will kind of make it less confusing and actually give you proper terms for the little different body parts. The reason I'm so excited about shrimp appendages today is if you notice, not only is it so adorable when they scratch your back, look at him, look at him scratching his little edge. Oh, he's so cute. But if you notice, he's doing that while using his little grabby grabby claws to eat. So not only do they have multiple appendages, but they can actually move them independently. So they have a bunch of legs, their little swimming legs, their little walking legs, like everything is moving at the same time. And the fact that their little brain can control it all is just, it's mind blowing to me. I think it's really important to learn about an animal's anatomy because once you know at least the basics, you start to understand the animal a little better and you start to see things a little better and you start to appreciate the awesomeness that in this case is dwarf freshwater shrimp. Oh, and look, it's a little tiny baby shrimp cleaning its little rostrum, that's the little face. So in this particular clip, I kind of sped it up so you can see how much time they spend using their little grabby claws, which are supposedly called maxillipads, but we're just, we're just gonna call them grabby claws, but how good they are at using them to pick a bunch of food and what they do is they'll grab things and then they will put it in their mouths, which in the previous clip we saw was underneath. So here's a little bit of a slow-mo of the grabby, grabby action. Isn't it interesting? On a couple occasions, I noticed that shrimp would grab food and kind of run off with it so they can eat it in peace. So they also use their little hands to grab things. They also spend a lot of time cleaning themselves. If you stick around to the end of the video, you're going to see some crazy shrimp cleaning action, which I refer to as shrimp yoga because shrimp are little people, shrimp people. Anyway, another cool thing that I've observed is that usually, not always, shrimps start out pretty transparent when they're juveniles and they start to color up as they get older. And speaking of color, here is the blue shrimp again. Now both Neocaridina and Caridina come in a variety of different colors. Particularly, I'm sort of leaning towards really liking the light blue shrimp. I think they're really beautiful, but they come in a variety of colors. You can have kind of reds, browns, greens, yellows, oranges, and then with the Caridinas, you start to have these cool patterns. Oh, and more back scratching. I'm gonna point it out every time because I think it's so, so cute. In the comments below, tell me what's your favorite shrimp color. One of the current mysteries that I'm trying to figure out is how do these shrimp breed? I've seen females carry eggs, and then I've seen the eggs disappear, and then magically see little tiny babies all over the tank, but I've never seen a spawning process, and I've never seen a baby shrimp hatch. 
the closest we've ever gotten to seeing little baby shrimp hatch would be this stage where you can see the eyeballs where the eggs would be and it kind of looks like they're unraveling they're possibly hatching or at least they're starting to develop further enough that you can kind of see what's going on and then poof look magically little tiny baby shrimp walking around hanging out with the big shrimp while the big shrimp attacks oh no i have so many unanswered questions and so many shrimp mysteries i kind of wonder do the eggs hatch while the female is holding on to them or maybe after she lets go but that's something i think i will learn with time so back to some cuteness we have another female that's holding and fanning eggs while she cleans her face they spend a lot of time cleaning themselves and it is it is very cute kind of reminds me of a cat since I'm being kind of random right now, I think it would be a good time to show you a current update on the tank. Got some fresh water up here that is dripping down and we're doing a water change into the shrimp tank. I did a little maintenance, cleaned it up, moved some things around. I think I'm kind of happy with this setup at the moment. It's growing in quite well. I trimmed the little bonsai tree. That's a little bonsai tree that's got moss growing inside of it. Got some dragon stone in the back. There's a little bit of algae growing in the back, which I think is kind of cool because it makes a little ledge. Now, I definitely need a background. Maybe like a blue piece of paper or white or something would look cool here. But so far overall, I really like what this tank looks like and this is kind of like a little behind the scenes look into life of my shrimp the reason we actually are dripping the water in here is because fish not fish but shrimp are a little, a little sensitive to water changes so by dripping the water in slowly like this which is not that slow but fairly slowly uh i noticed that we don't have any deaths so we kind of have everything under control in this tank and we have a ton of babies in here so many so many baby shrimp bonus shrimp footage time so these guys were from the competition at the aquatic experience i do have a video on that but uh, the clips were really shortened so i thought this would be a great opportunity to show you more extended clips so we can take a look at other people's shrimp and these shrimp were submitted to a competition kind of like the akc of shrimps i guess maybe so i think this variety i'm, I'm guessing would be caradina i always imagine caradina are the ones that are really colorful but they could be neo caradina please correct me down below in the comments if i am wrong and also this female is so cool check her out you can really see the eyes i think her babies were close to hatching and she was she had so many she was holding on to them so much because there was a little bit of flow in the tank she was like no i got you babies mama's got you i'm pulling it on and then yeah that one i, I think for 100 percent is caradina i could also be wrong but the caradinas are always the ones with the, like super super crazy patterns now the reason i don't own any is because they're from what i've read caradina are more difficult to take care of now the magic moment that we have all been waiting for shrimp yoga so this is pretty cool footage i've seen this before but i never got a chance to film it this is what it looks like when a shrimp has to clean its tail it can bend all the way in this tight uh c shape and you can see he's using his little little grabby grabby hands to clean off his tail and then he eats any of the particles that he cleans off. I also heard that shrimp will also bend their bodies to get out of their exoskeleton, which is something I've never seen before. I've seen different molts in the tank, but I've never seen this happen before. And I feel like this is the closest I've ever gotten so far to seeing this really, really cool thing. I'm sure at least one of you does yoga. So I have a question. Does a move exist that looks like this in the bending C shape and what is it called? And if it doesn't exist, can someone please invent the grooming shrimp yoga position? That would make my day. And another thing that would make my day is subscribing to my channel. If you liked this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have a newfound appreciation for shrimp and maybe you'll get interested in them like I am. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a 
thumbs up. I do have some more shrimp videos as well as betta videos, dog videos. I even have guinea pig videos and bunny videos. I have a variety of fun stuff. So maybe you might find something that you will like. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.